Well, everyone, the iPhone 14 Pro Max has been out for a little bit over a year now, and the iPhone 15 Pro Max, its direct successor, is already here. And there are a few things I'd probably recommend seeing and kind of noting before you buy the 15 Pro Max, and even a couple of reasons as to why the 14 Pro Max may actually end up being a little bit of a better phone than the 14 Pro Max. Now, here's the thing with both these devices. They're both, you know, very similar, and this is the big thing. With the 15 Pro Max, this is a better iPhone, but the 14 Pro Max is a really good iPhone for the value and for dollar that you're spending. And in a lot of ways, I would look at a 14 Pro Max as being the better deal. I truly do feel like the iPhone that is going to be giving you better value per dollar is probably going to be something like the iPhone 14 Pro Max. And that's just kind of what happens year after year after year. Every time I see one of these newer iPhones come out, I always remember that those types of devices end up becoming, I guess, a little bit better over time because of their value per dollar. So I say that to say, if you're looking for the iPhone that's going to be giving you, I guess, better value per dollar from every single standpoint, the 14 Pro Max is probably going to be the better one from that you know, standpoint alone. Now, the other thing is just the amount of similarities. There's just so much overlap between these two devices. And in fact, I would probably argue that the 14 Pro Max's build quality from everything that I've seen is actually probably better and stronger than the 15 Pro Max. From all the drop tests and everything that we saw early on when these phones came out, that was the first thing that we noticed. But on top of that, the other big thing here is that with the 15 Pro Max, this iPhone, I would say, actually isn't built as well as the 14 Pro Max. The 14 Pro Max actually has that like reflective material on the sides of that phone, which actually makes me think that it's like a really, really good device from that standpoint, which I think is super cool. I think the 15 Pro Max is still very good. I think it is, you know, just it's a very, very premium phone nonetheless. But this is where I kind of look at like a device like the 14 Pro Max as it being kind of the better one in some areas from that standpoint alone. I also feel like the jump in performance really wasn't that crazy. Even from a 13 Pro to a 15 Pro, of course there's going to be improvements. I just really don't think it was like a massive improvement from, you know, the performance side, although it is an improvement. It's not like a crazy big one. You're still getting very good cameras on the 14 Pro Max. Pretty good battery life. In fact, battery life is still exactly the same from what Apple reported from the 14 Pro Max to the 15 Pro Max. So that alone, again, is a pretty big difference there. You're going to be getting very similar, you know, battery lives from that standpoint alone too. And overall, I will definitely tell you, of course, the 15 Pro Max is a better iPhone. I'm still looking at a device like the 14 Pro Max as being a very solid device with a ton of capability. And I definitely do think that is probably one of the better phones I would kind of think about doing, you know, and buying from that specific standpoint. So that kind of covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, so then.